Okay. So our yogis are just gathering in the house of Sangha right now. So if you're in, in your home, maybe settling into your practice space, creating a nice sacred space for your mat, maybe grabbing a nice glass of water. For those in the house, we have herbal peppermint tea on the table if you want to grab yourself a drink. Setting up your chair. Okay, yeah. Big shout out to Heather Pearson. I think she's responsible for the disco ball in the studio. Every studio needs a disco ball. And every yogi needs a pair of wings, right? The way tonight's flow is going to go is we're going to start out lying down. So if you're at home, hi, Catherine. Yes, yeah, spots are with little candles, LED candles for every spot. One of my goals tonight is not to light my wings on fire. <laughs> I'm bound to have too many candles going. so beautiful. There's a beautiful sunset kind of matching the walls and the lights in the studio tonight. I hope all of you had a beautiful winter day celebrating all our snow. Encouraging folks at home to gather if you have either blocks or rolls of paper towels to use as your blocks today and maybe a blanket. Welcome, welcome. Josh, so people are settling. It's just five. We'll just start in a few minutes as our yogis settle in the space. I want to thank DJ Vedika, Matt, Bingyo, Visions by Matt. He's the genius that has set up three cameras in our studio tonight, showing the DJ, showing me. And his partner Amanda is working the cameras. Hopefully she'll get a little practice in as well. The last time that, hi, hi Steven. The last time that Matt and I did this, we were in his studio space and it was just virtual. And um, it's, it feels so good, it feels like progress to be able to be in person. I'd just like to thank the leaders at Sangha Studio, all the teachers and all the leaders and managers at Sangha who've kept our studio going made it possible for us to reopen and reopen safely all the volunteers and teachers so I'd like to welcome you to the house of Sangha this is Stacy Sadowski and she'll be demoing in a chair and Victoria Fern will be joining me she's got her wings too we'll be practicing together you'll be able to see Victoria hopefully and we'll practice together the, um, the theme for tonight is the house of yes and both Matt and I have done DJ yoga there and the house of yes is known for a place where anything goes you show up just as you are just like Sangha so it felt like a really good theme so I hope that you will bring that into your practice tonight um, as we practice safely um, they have fabulous dance parties too so hopefully we'll dance a little bit tonight um, it's also an all levels flow so anything goes tonight if this practice feels too slow or too fast please do your own thing I love that um, we'll also be theming tonight on the elements of nature and we're going to start out with a meditation around water so we'll have everybody lie down if you're seated in your chair you can sit at the edge of your chair and then lean back in your chair comfortably just lying down on your back and arriving into this, into your space. Welcome Sandy, welcome Nan and Megan. Thank you DJ Mega Luna for helping us set up today. Marlo, Josh Kerman from the beach. 
It's so nice to see you, sweetie. I'm so glad you made it. DJ Kermit in the house. So he's in Belize, just relaxing and arriving on your mat. The meditation will be around a meditation around water and its healing properties. So get comfortable so that you can feel every part of your body on the mat. If you prefer seated meditation, you can always take a seated meditation. Fully relaxing your limbs, your arms, your legs. Finding comfort so that you can truly let go. Immerse yourself in the present moment. Embody the element of water. Sensing the parts of the body that are supported in this moment. Nestling these parts of your body a little closer to the earth, your shoulders, skull, the sacral area, Let them go. Let go of the arms. Let go of the legs. Let go of the feet. Let your belly soften. And soften the heart. From this place of gentleness, as though it's a gentle lake, as though you're floating on your yoga mat. Start to deepen the breath. Long breaths in through the nose, into the belly, and then exhale from the belly into the nose. Find a rhythm of the breath that feels natural to you. knowing that there is a balance between the unconscious breath, the breath we take every day, and the deepest breath we ever breathe, which can sometimes feel like stress. Look for your own natural breath in through the nose, into the belly, and then from the belly back to the nose. Infusing your natural breath with your own presence, Maintain your presence with the inhale and your exhale as you allow yourself to deepen the breath to a level that resonates with you in this moment. Inhale through the nose to the belly and then exhale from the belly to the nose. Water teaches us that the moment we feel we have softened, there's always a little more softening to go. We can always let go a little bit more. Noticing if there are places in the body that are holding a little tension. What could you relax just a little bit more? Maybe softening the face, perhaps letting the belly go allowing it to soften the fingertips, the feet, letting go, letting go now. Continue this practice, breathing your breath and letting your body go. Eventually continuing to peel off layer after layer until we begin to feel almost like we are floating on water. Letting go beyond the material world, feeling our bodies merging with the earth, the edges begin to blur. 
softening and softening to the point of floating, to the point of not needing a tether, softening to the point of absolute trust. Eventually it's just you and your breath merging with the infinite, breathing in and breathing out. Today's flow will involve four elements, the earth, the water, the fire, the air. So from lying down, we'll touch the thumb to the fourth finger. This is the Prithvi Mudra. and soften the knees, bringing the feet to the earth, feeling all four corners of your feet touching the earth. Imagine that you're breathing into your feet. You can take the ujjayi breathing through the back of the throat. It sounds like snoring. And then reach the fingertips overhead. Exhale, arms down by the side body as you activate the core and lift the hips off the earth. If you're seated in your chair, just reach the arms overhead and bow forward and then lower the hips. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the arms down by the side body. Lift the hips off the mat, activating that core, finding your diamond. Lowering the seat, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, arms down by the side body, lifting the hips off the mat, and we'll hold our bridge. If you're seated in your chair, activate your core. Reach your arm out in front of you, your arms like you're holding a tray, or planking the ceiling, reaching the left fingertips on the right hands and pressing the right wrist forward. Stretching out your wrists, beautiful. Seated in your chair, your arms can be straight out in front of you. Feeling active in that core. Warming up our wrists, we'll interlace all 10 fingers. Gupta Mudra to believe in yourself, reach the arms overhead. Squeezing the arm bones into the, into the ears. And as we lower the hips, we'll exhale through the mouth. Like we're chopping wood. Inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, chop wood. One more, inhale. Exhale, chop wood. Beautiful. Then we'll roll over onto one side into seed pose, a lovely grounded pose, just honoring all the places we came from tonight and all the places we are in tonight. We have folks from my college years, folks at home, at my house. We have folks in New York. We have folks in Maine. We have folks in Belize, pushing up into a comfortable seated position. I didn't mean to turn my lights on. <laughs> so come to a comfortable seated position, adjust your wings accordingly. <laughs> and then we'll plant the left fingertips into the earth and bring that right arm overhead so that the left hand can be on the chair, right arm reaches over, finding a beautiful side stretch. And then coming back to center, that right hand comes to the earth and the left wing reaches overhead and to the side. 
Coming back to center, let's interlace all 10 fingers, finding that Gupta Mudra, bringing the Mudra into the belly. Taking some deep, empowering breaths here. Reaching the arms out forward, straight in front of you. Feeling your core here as you reach the mudra overhead. Bend the elbows. Take a deep inhale and exhale, chop wood. Two more, inhale. So beautiful, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, chop wood. Beautiful, then we'll bring the fist over to the right hip. Lifting up through the pelvic region. Gaze over the left shoulder, take a little twist here. Come back to center and then bring the fist over to the left side. Gaze over the right shoulder. Beautiful, come back to center. We'll just breathe through the pelvic region, beginning to awaken the water element again, allowing the belly to rise on the inhale and float down on the exhale. As you inhale, relax the bowl of the pelvis. And as you exhale, draw the pubic bones together strengthening our core as you inhale relax the bowl of the pelvis widen the sits bones and as you exhale bring the pelvic region together beautiful let's make some infinity signs with our fist I love these multi-camera angles. It really reminds us that we are in a studio that is so vibrant. I see everyone here. Hi, Claire. Let's wave to everybody, allowing the fingers to flicker and rain a little love on ourselves today for being here at DJ Yoga. Let's wave it out here. Moving naturally, so beautiful. Let's let it rain fluidity on ourselves, flexibility to go, to flow with life's changes. Beautiful, then we'll come to a tabletop position and find a tiger pose. So first just starting on your hands and knees. Beautiful, so yes, if you're seated in your chair, you can just bring that's it, beautiful for tiger's pose variation. And then we'll extend the left leg back. If you're in your chair, you can place a block under your knee. Beautiful, so pressing that left ball mound into the earth, reach that right arm forward. Feeling the energy of that, those right fingertips, maybe lifting the heel. Yes, beautiful. One line of energy. And then make a fist with that right hand. Bring that right elbow to that left knee. Round the spine. Inhale, extend and reach. If you're reaching to the hand of one of the, your many friends. Yes, right elbow, left knee, yes. Inhale, reach. One more, tiger's pose. Beautiful, we'll come back to a tabletop and let's take a lion's breath. Nice tabletop. <laughs> well, round like a cat, so both hands can be on the knees in your chair and round like a cat. Take an inhale, exhale, lion's breath, stick the tongue out, gaze to the ceiling. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> so good to see you, lions. One more. rise up on our knees in easy pose and just take a few little see I call these seaweed arms just to release the the wrists beautiful let's wave our arms keeping the pelvic region in one place 
so beautiful. Nice, hands back to tabletop. Let's take a cat-cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And then chin to the chest, round the spine. Come back to neutral, extend that right leg out for tiger's pose variation. Extend that left arm forward, staying right here or lifting that back leg, that back right leg off the mat, making a fist with that left hand. Savitor Mudra of the Sun. Let's fire up the Sun. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Beautiful. Inhale, extend and reach. Both hands to the mat. Let's just do some little circles here. Beautiful circles, hands on the knees if you're in your chair. Beautiful. And then tuck the toes and we'll find our first downward dog of the day. Pedaling it out one knee, then the other. Beautiful. In your chair, your downward dog is arms overhead, lifting if you're seated. And then pushing out of that right, that left leg, lift the right leg to the sky. Beautiful right knee steps through. We'll find a low lunge on the right knee, lowering that left knee to the earth, and then reaching the arms overhead for Anjane Asana. Beautiful, interlacing all 10 fingers. Let's chop some wood, bend the elbows. Exhale, shh. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shh. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, shh. Fingertips come to the top of the mat or find your blocks. We'll step forward and fold. Finding the earth with your feet, soften the knees, and reach the fingertips overhead. Let's take our little dancing waves here. Imagining now that, hi, hi everyone. Waving to everyone. Imagining now that it's raining. It's raining a little bit of the fire of creation, the creative forces raining on us. Beautiful, let's soften the knees and give yourself a hug for coming to DJ Yoga in chair pose, right arm under left. Lift the elbows to the sky. Elbows into the body, bow forward. Inhale, lift the elbows to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. One more. Inhale, lift the elbows to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. This time, unwind. Open your wings. Lift your arms overhead. Beautiful. Wiggling those fingers. Beautiful. You can even take a heart opener here. And then forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale halfway up with a flat back and step that right leg back. Right knee meets the earth. Anjane Asana on the left knee. Interlacing all 10 fingers. Reaching the fist overhead. Believe in yourself, Mudra. Bend the elbows, open the heart. Exhale, chop wood. Shh. Two more, inhale. Exhale, chop wood. Shh. One more. Shh. And then we'll climb back into the envelope of a child's pose. Knees wide, toes touch. Heels fall apart. Forehead to the mat. If you have blocks, you can also bring the elbows to the blocks. Beautiful job, Stacy. Such an honor to have Stacy Sadowski here today doing chair and all our chair yoga students joining us online. Beautiful, coming back from your child's pose. Taking a look at our amazing DJ and let's do a little bit of dancing here on our knees. Nice. 
freeform, yes. Love it. I see you in the back. I feel your energy. <laughs> yeah. Hands come back to tabletop. Let's drop into a cow pose. Lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. And then bring chin to chest, round the spine. Let's take another lion's breath. Deep inhale here, exhale, tongue out, gaze up. <sighs> Two more, inhale. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Let's tuck the toes, straighten those knees, and pedal out our dog. Softening one knee, then the other. Beautiful. If you're on your mat, you can soften your knees and send the heels to the right, giving yourself a nice little side stretch. And then straightening the knees like a wave. And then softening the knees, sending them to the left side of your mat. Opening up the hips a little bit. Relaxing the top of the head. Beautiful, push down that left leg, lift the right leg to the sky. Bend the right knee and open the hip, gazing under that left armpit, rolling the ankle. Coming back to center, stepping that right foot through. Let's find a warrior one. Beautiful. So fingertips lifted, my back left toe is facing the top left hand corner of my mat. Beautiful. Beginning to get a little lifted here with the lightness and sensitivity of the air. Let's interlace all 10 fingers and place them on the heart center. Breathing into your heart space. Beautiful. We'll open up the arms for a warrior two. So my back foot is facing the top, the back of my mat. Beautiful. My right knee is in line with my right ankle. The belly is hollow. Gazing over that middle, that right hand. And then gaze over the back arm. Beautiful. We'll flip the palms to the sky and bring the hands to touch as you straighten that front knee, flying our warrior. Softening and opening. And then straightening the arms. Beautiful. Exhale, open. Exhale, opening, so nice. And then grounding back into your warrior. Let's take an extended side angle. That right form comes down to the right thigh. Extend the left arm straight out in front of you. Gazing over that middle finger and then bring the shoulder bone over the hips. Flip the palm to the top of your mat and reach the arm. Finding an extended side angle. You can always bring a block inside that right calf, feeling that extension along the left side body. Beautiful, beautiful everyone. If there's a bind in your practice, you can tuck your elbow underneath that right knee and place the fist on the lower spine, reaching around, maybe even taking a bind or grabbing a piece of your wing. Nice. And then we'll come back up, rise back up. We'll do a peaceful triangle. So straighten that right leg, reach the right arm to the sky. Feeling a sense of openness on that right side. And then we'll come back to our warrior two. Taking the hands in Vajra Padma Mudra, interlacing. This is that mudra of unstuck. Unstruck. Beautiful. We'll pivot to the front of your mat. Lower that left knee to the earth. Bring the hands to the heart center. 
Take a deep inhale into the sternum and twist over to the right. Outside of that left elbow comes to the outside of that right knee, gazing to the sky. If it's in your practice, you can even lift that back knee. Extending through the ball mound, feeling energy into the earth and the calm lake of the breath. Lower that left knee to the earth. Bring the left hand down to your block or to the earth. Extend that right leg out for side plank. So I'm on my left knee. My right leg is extended. My left arm is grounded and my right arm lifts to the sky. You can stay right here or begin to activate the fire element by bringing the right elbow to that right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. One more. Beautiful, transitioning to your side plank. Coming back to a tabletop. And then go back into the envelope, into child's pose. Resting, moving, or going upside down, or even dancing. I'm just going to dance around the studio a little bit just to say hi to everybody. So feel free to take an inversion, do another vinyasa pass. This is Yogi's Choice. Remember, it's the house of Sangha. Everything is welcome, all movement. take our little dance party at home in the studio take up some space <laughs> dancing in our chairs nice job Stace Take out the hands, come back to a standing mountain pose, finding our feet, aligning our shoulders and our hips, coming back to the breath. Beautiful, we'll take a vinyasa pass together, reach the arms overhead, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale halfway up with a flat back, hands on the shins. Bring the hands to the earth and step through plank, knees to the mat, and then child's pose. We'll take an undulating child's pose. So coming from child's pose, bring the forearms to the earth and come into a sphinx posture. 
and then bow the forehead, bring the fingertips in the nipple line, roll the shoulder blades onto the back, mini cobra, back to child's pose. We'll take that two more times. Forearms to the earth, bring the chin, chest, belly to the mat, rolling the shoulder blades onto the back, and then pushing into child's pose. Allowing the movement to be like a wave. Beautiful. Tucking the toes, straightening those knees. Finding your downward dog, pedaling it out, one knee then the other. Pushing out of that right leg, lift the left leg to the sky. Bend the left knee, open the hip gaze under the right armpit. Rolling that wrist. Equal weight in both palms. Left knee comes into the third eye, round like a cat. Step that left foot through. And we'll find a warrior one. Left foot forward. Reaching the fingertips to the sky. Interlacing all ten fingers, bend the elbows, open the heart. Exhale, chop wood. Left shoulder comes down inside that left knee. Shh. Bend the elbows, exhale. Shh. Beginning to fire up the belly. Exhale, chop wood. Shh. And then we'll bring the fists out straight out in front of us and open up to a warrior two. The back right foot is parallel to the back of your mat. The left knee is in line with that left ankle. Beautiful palms face up. Gaze over the right arm. Level out your wings. We'll straighten that left knee, bring the fingertips to touch. Exhale, lower. Dancing our warriors. Exhale, lower. One more, reach the fingertips to touch. Exhale, lower, finding warrior two. Gazing over that strong left arm. And then we'll take an extended side angle so the forearm, left forearm can come to that thigh. Right arm comes straight out in front of you and then the shoulder comes over the hips. Flip the palm to the top of the mat. Beautiful, maybe even reaching the fingertips of the left hand down for a block. If there's a bind in your practice, you can tuck that left elbow underneath the left knee. Reaching around to find a bind. Beautiful. Coming back up to find your warrior and then dancing our, tri our triangle. So extend that left leg. Reach the left fingertips to the sky. Right hand comes to the thigh. Fingertips reach high. Beautiful. And then we'll pivot to face the front of the mat. Hands come to prayer. Lower the right knee to the earth. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Take a deep inhale. And twist over to your left. For us, this is facing up down. Beautiful, Stacy. See Stacy. Stacy a block for her. You can lift that back knee if it's in your practice. Beautiful, lowering that right knee, coming back to center, place the right hand on the earth, or on a block, and extend the left leg long. Finding a side plank, extending that left arm overhead. Beautiful. 
and then reaching, staying right there, or bringing the left elbow to meet the left knee, firing up the inner sun, reaching that arm long, exhale, bring the knee to the elbow, inhale, reach long, exhale, and then reach long, beautiful, coming back to a tabletop, and coming back into the envelope of your child's pose, knees are wide, toes touch. And I'd give options here of an inversion pose, perhaps. Maybe a headstand, maybe another dance party. So do, do what feels like it's calling to you right now. Take a rest, move, go upside down. So nice to see you, Mark and Jeanette and Paul and Marie. Brianna from Canada, my amazing niece, Britt, and Pat, of course. Christine, Colleen, Ellen, Jean from Florida. This is her second class today. <laughs> Gabriel, Haley, Heather, Foxy, Jessica, Jessica, Josh, Linda, Marlo, DJ Mega Luna, Monique, Nan, Sandy, honor all of you at home. Beautiful. So we've got some folks catching some air, maybe taking a little bit of a break, maybe honoring our DJ, sending Matt our appreciation. Beautiful. Take that series one more time. So you know where we're going. We'll come to our tabletop and take some cat cows. Beautiful. Tucking the toes, straightening those knees. We'll soften the knees and send the heels over to the right, stretching out the lower spine. And then come back to center and let the knees go over to the left and then come back to center. Pushing out of that left leg, reach the right leg to the sky, bend the right knee, maybe even flipping your dog or taking a rock star here. Opening the heart, coming back to center. Right knee comes into the third eye, step that right foot forward. The big left toe is facing the top left-hand corner of the mat. This time, let's bring some fire into the belly. Make two fists with the, with the hands. Bend the elbows and bring them into the core. Inhale, reach. Drawing in the energy from the sun as it sets into your belly. One more. Draw in that energy. Beautiful. And then we'll open it up to our warrior two on the right. My right knee is in line with my ankle bone. Gazing over my left arm and my right. Palms face up. This time we'll make fists. Straighten that right knee and bring the fist to the shoulders. Maybe even bring the toes to the sky. Softening those knees. And then bring the fist to the shoulders. Straighten that front knee. Soften that front knee. Beautiful. One more. Take an extended side angle. Forearm on the right side. Resting on the thigh. Extending that left arm forward. Shoulder bone comes over the hips. Flip the palm to the top of your mat. Option here to take a bird of paradise. So this is an option. We can remain right here in this beautiful extended side angle or tuck that elbow underneath that knee, take your bind, walk that back foot closer to the front foot, shift the weight to the left foot, and stand up. Yes. It's Sangha's birthday. With our practice tonight, we wish Sangha a happy eighth birthday and many moons ahead. <laughs> Let's extend 
Back to our extended side angle. We'll all meet in this beautiful extended pose. And then find our proud warrior. Straighten that right knee. Reach the right arm to the sky. Reverse triangle. Beautiful pivoting to the top of our mat. Soften that left knee. Bring the hands to heart center. This time we're going to lower and lift that knee. Building a little core strength. See if you can come to a 90-90. Beautiful. And then bring that left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Hands into heart center. Let's take our side plank. Left hand comes to the mat. Extending that right leg. This time options, always options to possibly bring both feet into side plank. If you can get your left side foot grounded, there's many options. You can come to a tree. With the right foot, you can step the right foot behind you onto a block or into rock star. You can grab the knee. There's as many variations as there are people in the room and online tonight. You can grab the peace fingers of that right hand and grab the big right toe. Beautiful. So if you, then we'll all meet back with our left knee grounded. So we all meet together in this grounded earth position. Come back to a tabletop and we'll just drop the belly, lift the gaze. And then chin to chest, round the spine. Beautiful, come back to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes, straighten those knees. Let's take a vinyasa pass together. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, knees chin, chest, or all the way down to Chaturanga push-up, and inhale to mini cobra or upward dog, and then back into the envelope of child's pose. Forehead comes to the earth, take your rest. Imagine maybe that we're practicing in warm sand, allowing the body to melt onto your mat or your beach towel. Big heavy waves, the mind is softening and being absorbed into the field of the body. Resting, doing another vinyasa or going upside down. Beautiful. Rise back up, taking some time through child's. If you took an inversion pose, coming to our knees and we'll take, can take the blocks. If you have them, we're gonna take a camel's pose variation. I'm placing the blocks outside of the ankles, lifting the hips or placing the hands on the lower spine, palms facing the buttocks, Elbows squeezing together, opening the heart. The camel's variation will come back up and just come resting in anahata, heart opening posture. Bring the arms more forward than a typical baby pose. Reaching the arms as far forward as you can, melting the heart, letting the sits bones lift. And then walking the hands back to your tabletop, drop the belly into your cow pose. Lifting the gaze, and then chin to chest, cat pose. Tuck the toes, straighten those knees. We'll step, jump, or hop up to the top of our mat and take another dance break. Honoring DJ Vedika tonight with a little dancing. Take up some space. Don't be shy about dancing around the studio a little bit. Beautiful job. <laughs> 
Yes, I feel your dancing energy from Huntington to Burlington to Belize. Beautiful. So much good energy in the studio and on the virtual online studio. <laughs> Let's find a star pose, wide legs, toes pointing 45 degrees, reach the arms overhead. Feel your magnificence. Soften the knees coming to a goddess pose, elbows and knees come together. And then reach the fingertips to the sky. Straighten those knees. Sunflower lifts. Reaching. Exhale, lower. Two more. Rising like a sunflower. Rising like the sun. Beautiful. And then we'll hold our Shakti pose. Soften the knees. Skull pose. The elbows bring the right elbow to the right knee. Come back to center. Left elbow comes to the left knee. Come back to center. Reach the fingertips to the sky. Star pose. Beautiful. We'll find ourselves back in our warrior. One position. Right leg forward. Is that the right leg? Left leg forward. So. Victoria is my right and left. <laughs> Mixing it up, helping me mix it up a little bit. Left knee in front, right knee back. So the big right toe facing the top, right hand corner of the mat. Lift the fingertips to the sky. Let's let those fingertips rain a little sunshine on ourselves. Raining a little sunshine on those we love and then raining a little sunshine on all those who are suffering around the world today. Let's make our fists to bring strength to ourselves, bend the elbows into the side body, and then reach to the sky. Grab your fists, bring them into the side body. One more reach. Bring the elbows into the side body, and then reach back up. Beautiful, let's open it up to find a warrior two on the left, back right foot parallel to the back of the mat, hollowing out the belly, gazing over that middle finger, flipping the palms, making fists, straightening that front left leg, fist comes to the shoulders. Inhale, open up, sharing that energy that we've cultivated tonight with ourselves, with those we love and with the world. Feeling all of the elements in us, the earth, the water, the sun, and the air. Left arm comes down to that left thigh, reach that right arm forward, straight out. Shoulder comes over hips, flip the palm to the top of your mat. You can cinch that left arm down to the earth, taking your bind or just taking that beautiful extended side angle. If you're taking the bind, maybe thinking about another happy birthday, bird of paradise, bringing that right foot closer to the left, coming up onto the ball mount of that left foot, shifting the weight and standing up. Yes, yes, yes. Wherever you are in this posture, you are magnificent. You are the energy of the earth. You are the energy of the ocean. You are the energy of the fire. You are the energy of the air. You took your bird, will come back down to earth. All meeting in that extended side angle. 
and then coming back to your proud warrior. Let's take a reverse triangle, peaceful triangle. Straighten that left leg. Right hand comes to the right thigh. Reaching the fingertips overhead. Loving this music tonight. Pivoting to the front of the room. Softening that right knee. Bringing the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Twist. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Really ring yourself out. You can lift that back knee if that's in your practice. And lower that right knee. Bring the right hand to the earth. Extend the left leg long. Finding your side plank. You can take, just stay in the stable side plank here. Or bring both feet together, stacking them, coming onto the side of that right foot, and then take your options. So step your foot back, possibly. Finding a rock star, grabbing that knee. Maybe even grabbing the peace fingers of that left foot and extending the leg to the earth, into the sky. Beautiful. If you lifted a leg, we'll all soften that right knee and meet back in that grounded side plank. Coming back to a tabletop. Knees wide, toes touched. Bring ourselves back into that safety of the earth and child's pose. Beautiful, walking the forearms forward, extending the legs, finding a sphinx posture on all on the forearms, lifting the heart slightly. Beautiful, and then bowing the forehead, feeling the belly breathe into the earth, resting the third eye on the hands like a pillow. Beautiful, softening the knees if you're on your belly and rolling side to side. Options here to stay right here, belly breathing, the energy from the earth into the center of command, into your generator of your belly, or softening the knees and reaching the arms by the side body, allowing the forehead to lift slightly to lengthen the back of the neck, squeezing the shoulder blades together, maybe even reaching for those ankles. It's okay if you don't reach for those ankles. If you're sitting in your chair, we'll take gold post the arms, and open the heart. Or even reach the back of your chair, sending your heart to the sun. Deep, heavy waves of breath. Blending the brain waves into the body. Final place. And then extending the legs out, taking your rest. Palms face flat, take a cheek. Resting the shoulders on the mat. Toes touch, heels fall apart. Breathing into the lower back body. Feeling the natural rhythm of your breath reconnecting. Skydiver diver pose is next. Bring the chin to the center of the body. Soften the knees. Gold post the arms. If you're seated in your chair, just gold post the arms. Take a goddess stance with the knees. Beautiful. Lengthen the, the neck. So lift the forehead slightly. Draw the chin toward the heart.
straightening the legs and the arms into locust pose. Superhero Sangha, DJ Yogis tonight, flying above. Beautiful. Take three more breaths wherever you are. Then lower the toes and the hands and take a cheek, the opposite cheek, the left cheek to the mat. Breathing into the lower spine, the lower back. Filling the kidneys with fresh prana. Full push through a tabletop. Walk the knees closer to the wrists to come to a seated position on the heels. We'll just sit in easy pose. Bring the hands into Anjali Mudra of gratitude, sending a little gratitude to our DJ tonight, DJ Vedika, bringing us to a beautiful place of sound and lights making it possible for our online members to hear the music at the House of Sangha tonight. Beautiful, and we can transition from here into a hero's pose. So maybe just staying in your easy pose or grabbing, if you're in your chair, just reaching to the sides of the chair it. Beautiful. Tucking the toes on the outside of the chair, mindfully moving. You can also bring your blocks into the picture for heroes and maybe extending one leg. So giving yourself the position that feels good in your body tonight, gives you a sense of freedom, maybe extending one leg or two. Come down onto those blocks all the way down. If you're reaching all the way down, I see some of us have a block under our shoulders, maybe a block under the heads. If you're coming all the way down, maybe even interlacing the elbows. Yes, beautiful. That's so nice. Each and every one of you has been heroic over the last two years, creating a sense of safety, being flexible, being determined, and bringing heartfelt kindness to all the people you've interacted with. If you extended one leg, we'll push back up onto forearms and switch out the legs. Moving mindfully. took full expression or just one leg, we'll all push up onto our forearms and mindfully extend both legs out. Coming into a supported fish pose. So the shoulders can be, if you're sitting in your chair, the knees are soft, you're grabbing the outsides of the chair and lifting the heart to the sky. If you're in your fish pose, maybe supported by blocks between the shoulder blades. Coming back to that watery place. We'll all 
little push up out of the forearms or to gaze at our toes and remove any blocks or props from beneath the shoulders. We'll cross the right knee over the left. If you're sitting in your chair, cross your ankle or cross mindful here with the hips in the chair. So possibly crossing that right ankle over that left knee. If you're, in, if you're lying down for figure four, we can reach the back of the left thigh, interlacing both hands. Keep that right foot nicely flexed to protect that knee joint. Sending the energy into the right hip flexor. Bringing a sense of air and space in the hip joint. Bring some heartfelt prana to that area. And then soften that left knee. Cross the right knee across the body. Take a little twist. So yes, you can bring that right hand over to the knee. Gaze over the left the right shoulder. If you're in your chair, maybe grabbing onto the side of the chair. Give yourself a nice twist. Coming back to center. Let's just take a dancing horse on our back. So using your hands in your chair and maybe just tapping your feet, horses running through the clouds. On a beautiful February night at the House of Sangha. Really feeling the energy of your feet and your hands. Feeling a little lightness here. Crossing that left ankle over the right knee, we'll take our figure four on the left side. So crossing, if you're in your chair, crossing the left ankle over the right or the left foot over that right knee. Mindfully moving slowly and with care, lifting the right foot off the earth and interlacing all 10 fingers behind the right thigh, pressing that left elbow into that left thigh. Feeling the skull, shoulders, and sacral area are three S's. Grounded. Heavy waves of breath. Beautiful, extending that right leg out. Left knee comes into heart center. And maybe crossing that that, knee, that left knee over to the right side, gazing over that left shoulder. If you're in your chair, just placing your hand on your knee, grabbing for the outside of the chair, taking a little twist. And then coming back to center, maybe taking a happy baby or any final poses that would make your house of Sangha practice feel complete. Maybe grabbing the knees and drawing some circles with the knees, rolling the ankles, covering yourself with a blanket. Perhaps. I'll take the, vaj the um, Vaikara Mudra of protection to close our practice it's taking soft fists, so the thumb is on the outside of the fist. We cross our wrists. Feeling a sense of protection. Feeling a sense of groundedness again. Attuned to the creation's essential unity. May we experience complete safety. Noticing how the breath is naturally directed into your chest. Instilling a sense of safety and protection. Sense how your arms form a powerful shield of protective energy within all dimensions of your being.
breathe into the complete safety within your shield, the safety of the earth within you. Attune to the water element within you. Breathe in some fluidity and flexibility, flowing with life cycles and seasons. Tuning into the fire elements, protective quality, bringing clarity and energy. And then attuning into the air elements, protective qualities of lightness and sensitivity.
completely integrated, may you experience your oneness with the natural world. Om Namah Shivaya. May you remain awake. Beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Beginning to reawaken. Reaching the arms overhead like you just woke up. Rolling over onto one side and giving yourself thanks for coming to your mat tonight. Thanks for the earth and groundedness in you, the fluidity in you, the determination in you, and the love in you. And that sense of gratitude, pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. We'll take the Vakaira Mudra of integration. Thumbs outside the fists, wrists crossed. Sending out a sense of integration to ourselves, integration to those we love, and integration to all those who are suffering around the world tonight. May they feel their connection to the earth and the water and the fire and the air. We'll bring our hands to heart center, thumbs to sternum. We'll close our practice with the sound of one ohm, first a clearing breath. And then a sweet inhale to ohm. Beautiful thumbs to the third eye. The elements in me bow to the elements in each of you. Thank you so much for practicing at the House of Sangha. Big thank you to our DJ Vedika tonight. Amazing. I feel like I've been at the House of Sangha at a very special event. Yes, and thank you very much to Victoria and to Stacy. And to all of you at home, thank you so much. I'm gonna, um, Mark, my husband, Britt, thank you so much. And all of you supporting our Sangha and Jeanette, Carrie, Colleen, Ellen, thank you so much, Haley, Jean, Jessica, Josh, so good to have you here, Josh, Marlo, and Megan, thank you very much. We're so grateful to that you joined the studio tonight. We have a studio celebration coming up to honor the studio's eighth year and um, eighth birthday. And that's a beautiful class taught by Caitlin and Emily. And that'll be taking place on the, is it the eighth? It's on the eighth. And um, I believe it will be both in person and virtual. So many, many offerings at the studio. Please ask us about our memberships, our sustaining, our virtual and our scholarship memberships. We appreciate all that you do. So thank you very much. <laughs>